Hello everyone today we are going to take a new chapter that is desktop and its properties in this lessons we have introductions of desktop and then icons arrangement of icons by name and size then changing the background that means the wallpaper of desktop finally changing the screen saver shall we start the class children right introduction windows is an operating system it is developed by microsoft corporations it is a graphical user interface that means gui based operating system windows operating system can be customized customized means we can change the background pattern or color in specifically in screen saver that will display on specific period this is we can change and also fonts title bar by using display properties of dialog box so properties of dialog box we have to changing these over then the display properties of dialog box contains five tabs if you clicking each tab display different set of options to customize desktops we can interactions with the windows application with use the mouse and the characters are entered through the keyboard it is a multitasking operating system we can do various performance at the same time it is a user friendly and then it is a graphical user interface in shortly we say gui that is operating system that means all the commands we have to give the picture format next heading is the desktop it is the first screen of the windows operating system and then it contains of color or patterns background and containing small pictures that we say icons and then taskbar in this chapter we will learn about the components of desktop and how to customize the background that means how to change the background ourselves okay children the icons icons we know that it is a small picture that represents files folders programs and other items on the window screen for some example in the desktop one is my computer documents and also recycle pin in my computer icon displays the content of your computer like hard disk drives and other peripherals and then it help us to open our programs documents and data files in the system it is also help us to modify the setting of the computer second example is my documents in this icons help us to store our documents graphics or other files that you want to access quickly immediately we can access when you want to save a file in a program say ms paint the file is automatically saved in my document or otherwise you can choose the different location third example is recycle pin this icon we can see in the windows desktop when you want to delete any unwanted file or folder it will be stored temporarily it has in the recycle pin these files can be retrieved when you have necessary if you want that file now you have to retrieve from recycle pin then arrangement of icons the desktop icons can be arranged by the following methods like name size type and modified how to arrange the icons by name step 1 right click on the desktop step 2 click on the arrange icons by if you clicking that sub type will be open here you have to click on the name then finally the icons are arranged according to the name in the desktop how to arrange the icons by size 
here also you have to do right click on the desktops again you have to click arrange icons by the subtype will be display there you have to click size from the subtype then finally the icons are arranged according to the size in the desktop okay children now we are understood how to arrange the icons by name as well as size okay thank you bye